Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Triple D's Comics. My name is Darius, Triple D's trustee, and today we're going to be reviewing Plastic Number 5. Um, the Plastic uh, story up to this point has been just so fantastic and so good and brutal and visceral. Um, you know, for just a one-shot story, it's been fantastic. So when I go to read Plastic Number 5, I find myself, you know, find myself let down a little bit like not to say this was a bad issue it was good but I'd say it's just good I feel like it ended the best way that I possibly could I mean a lot of things that made this great just weren't present you know the graphic visceral violence the offhand very weirdness like the grimy vibe wasn't there it felt like a very formulaic ending to say the least like it wasn't a bad ending but it wasn't a spectacular one it just it's over like, and there were some cool things that they did, but for the most part, it was just very, very formulaic, like, it, it didn't seem very unique in its own way. Um, I will say the things I like most about it are, one, this cover, this cover is fucking gorgeous. Like, just picking it up off the shelf, I was like, god damn, this is gonna be a great issue. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't great, but again, it wasn't bad. Um, the art, always on point. Uh, the artist, Daniel Hilliard, excellent job through the entire series and nothing else was different here. Um, Doug Wagner, I mean, you're a great, you're a great writer, I don't want to take anything from you. I definitely feel like you did a lot better on the first four than you did on the fifth one. Again, don't want to, I don't want anyone to think that I don't think Plastic itself is a less than an amazing series. It's, it's an amazing series. Um, if I get a chance to review the whole series, you'll definitely hear that in that review. It'll be much longer than this. But as for this issue, if I were to say, hey, jump in the plastic at issue five, well, I would never say jump in issue five. I'd say wait till the goddamn trade. You don't want to deal with the hassle of finding this. Like, it took me fucking forever to find fucking plastics three and four. It was ridiculous. But, um, yeah, plastic five was good. Um, the art was great. Uh, there were some fun little parts they had in there. Uh, hand up spoilers. Uh, basically, Edwin and his doll die. And it's not that it's like it, there's no emotional resonance, but like I know it's a doll, I know it's like a human being, I know it has no character. I liked Edwin, but again, it's like I didn't know how this was going to end. I don't feel hurt that he's gone. It just feels like this was an ending. Like it was whatever, you know, it's over, it ended. Um, so yeah. Plastic number five it was good. I'm gonna let that a little let down because I thought it was gonna be better, but looking at it objectively, Plastic Five was good. Story was, they got the job done. Art was fantastic. Uh, paneling was excellent. Um, and the cover was absolutely gorgeous, so I guess I can't really ask for much more. So, there you have it. Um, I'm gonna put a review for all of Plastic. In probably the next few weeks before the trade comes out to let you know if you should just pick up the trade or if plastic's not really for you so thank you for watching and remember read more comics